In a previous video, you may have seen a flight to Falcon Field in the Bonanza in the Atlanta area, Peachtree City, Georgia. What I couldn't tell you in that video is why I flew here and maybe most interestingly, why I haven't flown back. Well, day has finally come and I can tell you a little more about what's going on. The uh, Bonanza is uh, just starting the largest upgrade program since I purchased it 10 years ago. You know, I've done a few things since then. I put some uh, new avionics in, the engine monitor, um, upgraded the engine from the 520 to the 550. If you've watched my channel for a while, you've seen those projects. What's starting to happen behind me in the hangar at uh, Gartner Low Aviation Falcon Field is bigger than any of those things. I'm gonna get a whole new panel and to start, let's meet the owner, Carl Gardner, and give us a tour of his shop. Let's Show take a tour. Right yeah. Take a tour. Let's go. We've got a pilot's lounge down here. Y'all yeah. can look at that right there. This is where we check in everybody. All the parts get checked in right here. Oh, Port yeah. storage is right over here. If you walk back here, you can see where, where we have all the avionics come in. Right. Everything's everything is received in here. We've wow, got some new stuff that's, uh, that's there that we, uh, we still sell out of. Yeah, the latest and greatest, Collins Microliner. So, it's the latest and greatest. <laughs> There's still some people out there that use the Collins Microliner, use some of this stuff, and, uh, and we have it here readily available for yeah. them. And this is the avionics uh, shop. Here's where we do the maintenance, and we also do the wiring. We do avionics checkouts. And as you can see, we've got a laser marking machine right over here. Uh huh. This is made by Spectrum Technologies. And that labels the wires? This labels or? the wires. It'll actually, it'll label the wire and cut them to length for you. So you nice. can go ahead and program in a whole job in here. Mm -hmm. And if it's all RG58 wire, you can run the 58 wire. If it's a twisted pair, you can run it through and it'll cut all the twisted pair for you. Oh, Yeah, nice. so if, if, it's all, if it's all just regular old uh, 22 gauge wire, you can program in all the 22, it'll print it, it'll put the size on it. And then we take it and we make a harness out of it. Big time saver. Big time saver. But we have our own our own wire diagrams that we go by. So we we do that's our uh, high speed data bus uh, layout mm -hmm. architecture. So we do everything right here inside. We can get done with it. We can check it on the bench. And then we can put it out in the airplane. So the whole system will be the whole powered thing, up here that for is the first correct. time we before can power it all up here before we take it in. Mm -hmm. That is correct. As you can see, this is our shop. We've already got more airplanes coming in that we're doing work on. We've got we've got your airplane right here. I was gonna say, I know this one. Yeah. We've got 70 TB. It's already been brought into the shop. Yeah. And we've already been this. going through it, yeah. We've got the interior out. We've already got the compression checks done. The mm -hmm. vacuum pumps removed from it. Yeah. We're in full speed on Martin's airplane. We got Mikey in here. He's already, he's, he's fast at work in here, going to town. Mikey, what you got going on in here? You're taking the interior part? Yeah. yeah, Mikey's got the interior part. There's a King Air that we're doing also. That's the one you had the equipment That's on the bench That's the equipment for. in the bench, that's yep. right. Mm -hmm. We're doing the dual G600, GFC 600 autopilot, um, full retrofit. We're doing raise back on the uh, wing lockers. Oh, yes. We're doing jump seat in it. So we're doing quite a bit of a, uh, of a job on this airplane right here. What are you doing on the P-51? Okay, the P-51, P-51's getting upgraded. He's doing a uh, 750, two GI-275s, Garmin's. Mm -hmm. He's doing a Garmin 255, 345 uh, audio panel, 345 uh, transponder ADS-B in and out. And we're doing the shade and fuel flow on it. Oh. And we got a Corsair coming in right behind it doing the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty cool. But this is where we do our we do our powder coating, we do our CNC, and we do our painting back here. I thought maybe we had a chicken in there cooking. Is that is that for my yolk or? That is for another customer's yolk. I actually finished yours earlier. Right yep, there. it's already got your name. Oh, look at it. 70 TB. Look at that. You know what the hardest part is? Said I can't.
cannot tell anybody about this for another four months. <laughs> Look at that, Martin. <laughs> Whoa. Check that out. That's pretty darn cool. That is pretty darn cool. That will be on my yoke. That will be on your yoke. Replacing the clock that never, <laughs> that keeps never time. worked. <laughs> That's pretty that awesome. That is beautiful. It is beautiful. This is the yeah. big. Ma this is the big magic. This is what's going to make your panel look uh, look like it's been cast into the 21st century. So we saw yesterday there were some edits made on the computer screen. Yeah. And is is this the machine then that puts you put a piece of metal in it? That's correct. Comes, and it will cut the panel. metal. That's correct. Does it do the engraving? For the we can do as engraving well? with it also. How long does it, it take to make a complete panel? Probably, it can go anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 minutes to 45, just depending on the panel work that you're doing. Cutting your average panel is going to take about 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. On average, it, it looks so simple, but the result is beautiful. But we always cut it. We always cut a test fit panel first, which is you can see the the plastic panels. Mm -hmm. Here's one from a from a 172 that we just recently finished up, you know, so we're keeping that as a, right. as a pattern. So Kenny, Kenny's got most of his patterns up here. We've got, um, we've got a Meridian, we got a Meridian panel, that's an F33 panel right here that we did. You can see that panel already cut out for an F33. Mm -hmm. It helps to use the and clear acrylic for test fitting that way if you need to move anything. You can see through the panel and see what needs to move, what needs to change. That makes complete yeah. sense, yes. It does. Mm -hmm. I've been doing avionics for almost 40 years. I owned Gardner Aviation for almost 20. I sold it a few years back. Mm -hmm. And then after I, my non-compete was over with, um, I decided maybe I want to go back into doing aviation. Mm -hmm. Bought out Henry Lowe down in Macon about seven years ago, just as maintenance and avionics. I started out with a good crew down in Macon we just expanded it from there. Mm -hmm. For anyone wanting a new install, what's the wait time right now? Yeah, right now it's going to be June, July. I'm pretty well booked and up. It's January it's now. It's January so now. We've half been, a year. Half a year is already, is already booked. Mm -hmm. Easily already booked. Assuming we can get the equipment. That is correct. Now, yeah. stuff that I've got booked until January, I've got most all the equipment already. Mm -hmm. So these people are already scheduled. They've already paid for their money for their equipment. I've already got it here. Mm -hmm. So now we're waiting for other equipment, and I am scheduling people in July right now, okay. so Gene's pretty well taken care of. We work on everything. It doesn't matter. It can be a P-51, a King Air. It could be a 172. Mm -hmm. We've got a Pilatus sitting out there, PC-12, that's uh, coming in doing the same exact upgrades. If I ever win the lottery, I'm going to get one of those. I'm telling you, I love Pilatus. That is such a cool airplane. But for us, we're going to treat everybody exactly the way you want to be treated. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter whether you've got a J3 Cub or a Pilatus. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm I work on a J3. We don't care. We'll do it. You know. Yeah. It's good. But uh, that was that's pretty much it in a in a nutshell. What we do. All right. Well, thank you for the tour. Okay. I thank you. Thank you for coming, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. You already saw in my previous video that I'm getting the Garmin GFC 600 Autopilot installed. And you know now that I'm getting an all new instrument panel along with that. In part two of this video, I'll tell you more about what other equipment I will get and you'll see the rest of the installation process. But first, Oshkosh is here and I'm excited to be there all week. I will give forum presentations on lean of peak and mixture management again and there's a meet and greet with several YouTubers on Monday afternoon at Forum Stage 8. I'm also going to do a bike ride to Fisk again this year, along the famous Fisk Avenue that you know from the Fisk arrival. That is on Sunday afternoon before the show opens, and if you'd like to join, you'll find more info in the video description. As always, a special thank you to my supporters on Patreon who helped make these videos possible, including John, who most recently signed up, and Lynn, who has increased her pledge. Thank you. I appreciate if you hit like and subscribe, and I will see you in Oshkosh or in the next video. Fly safe.